Hello. In this video, we will be looking at printing from Photoshop to your apparel software for white, colored, and black shirts. Your apparel software will have installed plugins into Photoshop during the install process that make it easy to send your jobs to your queues. In Photoshop, the plugin to send the data to the queue is found in the File Automate menu and will appear as a Send to menu item. The plugins is much easier to use than using File Print as all it requires you to do is select the correct queue you want to print through. It also ensures that we send the data to the queue in the best possible format for t-shirt printing with or without an underbase. In this example we have an image with a black background. When printing this to a black t-shirt we don't need to do anything as the cues for the black t-shirts will automatically remove the black areas and replace them with the black shirt color. But it's always a good idea to check the value of your black as black isn't always black. In the info window in Photoshop we can see that the black in this image is black and has a value of 0, 0, 0. With an image where the black isn't black, as in this example where it's 18, 18, 18, so actually a shade of dark grey, you can easily fix this using the image auto contrast feature. And you should do this to ensure that the solid black areas are reproduced using just the black t-shirt color. So when printing onto white or black shirts, you really don't have to do anything special. The pre-configured cues will do everything for you. But when printing onto colored shirts, you will probably want to define areas in the image that use the shirt color and areas that use an underbase and color inks. And we do this by defining areas with transparency. Areas that are completely transparent will not be printed and just show the shirt color. And areas that are opaque will be covered with a solid white underbase and the required color data. Areas that are semi-transparent, such as the shadow, will have some white and color ink, but still allow the shirt color to show through based on the level of transparency. This way you can create your designs and blend them into your shirt as you wish. There are many ways of creating transparent areas in your design in Photoshop. The first thing you must do is have a layer, not a background, in the layers window. You can convert a background to a layer by double clicking on the background and selecting OK. Once you have a layer, you can create transparent areas using tools such as the magic wand, or the select color range tool. as well as a wide range of other tools in Photoshop. If you are using a 32-bit version of Photoshop, then there are some additional plugins provided with the apparel printing software to help you set up transparent areas. Under the filter menu, you can select the Knock Me Color Out plugin to remove the red background. Click 
on an area in the top preview to select the colour you want to remove. Use the underbase slider to control the range of that colour to remove. The lower image will show you a preview and you can switch between transparency preview, a preview of how the underbase white ink will print, black equals white ink, and a simulation of the shirt colour. You can also use the zoom in and out to see the details of your changes. Another very useful tool we provide is the Transparency Opacity Filter. This gives you a simple way to edit the transparency in your design directly. In my example, I have in the top right hand corner some speckles which are not quite transparent where the background was inconsistent. I can clean these up by using the hard clip slider, which makes pixels that are very close to transparent, completely transparent. The controls in this plugin work the same way as the color adjustments levels control works in Photoshop except it works on the transparency layer, not on the color data. This is also a very useful tool for cleaning up text created in Photoshop, which is always created with a lot of anti-aliasing. There are also some easy adjustments which require no user input. For example, the cleanup black can be used to make your blacks blacker, like the auto contrast, but you have three levels. You also have one for cleaning up your white areas to ensure white is white. There are also three quick tools for adjusting the transparency. When you have text created in Photoshop, the edges are not crisp, as they are in Illustrator, and instead have an anti-aliased edge to blend into the background. You can use these quick tools to sharpen the edges. The transparent pixels 50-50 will change any pixels less than 50% to transparent and any above 50% to opaque. As we said at the beginning of this tutorial, Using the plugins to send to the queue will ensure that the data is sent to the queue in the optimum format. In this example, we have a lot of layers, and this can be, in some cases, an issue if you try to import this PSD file directly instead of using the Send To feature. If you want to save this as a sample file that you can use and import directly into your apparel printing software, then save it using the following settings. Save as a PSD. With ICCs enabled, so the software knows what color space to use when printing. And layers disabled. This will automatically merge all the layers into a single layer from optimum output quality and reliability.